Alright, welcome to my fire bake tutorial. The fire base, 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 base. Um, should I come up with better names? Um, I think I have. So we're gonna create a new app. Let's call it um, YT Tutorial. So let's create a project. So, give it some time. Uh, next, we're gonna get jQuery, jQuery CDN. Um, it's right here. I use three of them. How stable. I use three of them. They're stable. So, so this one, and we're gonna link it up. So, script, script, and we're going to create some input fields. We're gonna create a display. So we're gonna display there, and we're gonna create one input field. Um, one second. For text, Let's call this guy a name. So we name the label. And let's create an input field. This is being text. Let's name it the ID. Name input. Save. It's gonna go. So we have that going. Um, next, we're gonna go into Firebase. I click that. So we click that circle thing and then you're gonna generate the Firebase script. So first you're gonna copy and paste all this stuff. Copy and paste. And we're gonna put it in here. Cool. Now you got Firebase installed. And um just tap this in. Tap this in. Oh shit. And we're gonna save it. And we have the Firebase installed, so that's all you need to do. So you gotta click that, that, and then you have the Firebase key in here. And next, you're going to authentication, which is storage, you go rules. Um, I said this is true. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Okay, so rules. You said you said both of these are true. Not not storage. True and true. Okay. And publish. So yeah, don't go to storage. Storage is something else. Storage is like you know storage. So up next, um. So we got that installed. Now we have to create a variable. We're gonna create a variable. Create a variable to reference the database. And it's gonna be var database equals to firebase dot database. Cool. And we're gonna create Variables, so we're gonna create variables to store name because we created an input field for name, and we're going to create 
prepare the button. Okay, our button is going to. <sighs> Put the button and submit. And we are going to create a button. So we're going to listen for click button. And we're going to on click function. And we are going to grab the name. So we're going to grab this guy, name input, and we're going to grab the value and we're going to trim it to get rid of all the white space because we freaking hate white space. And next we're going to store it in the database, database.ref set, and we're passing an object and name it name colon name and we're gonna go and we will return false so that won't do the original it won't do the browser thing default things so save let's try this out right now open browser oh you don't have a display yet uh, maybe I have to display the variables. Um, so we are going to when we so when we grab we're, we're going to display it um, at display right here. We're going to plop it right here, and then it's going to be HTML name. Why don't you change the H1? Here's H1. 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 And let's do that. So, and we're going to open the browser. And we're going to try it. Go through. Go through. There's an error somewhere, let's go. Oh, my game does not find it. There we go, sorry. Can we use jQuery 2.0 so we can have a
<laughs> Sorry for messing up the code. And then finish the code and then debug it there. Should be working. So next we're gonna go database dot ref dot on event listener as value. We do a callback. We call it snap. Snap. Because that's the snapshot's called. And we will HTML and it's gonna be snap dot val dot name Let's try that still error. I don't know what I did wrong. <sighs> Should work. And still there. Should be working. I see my error because jQuery is not defined. It should be SRC. Oh, come on, the more errors now. There it goes. So. so, this is it. It's working. There you go. So, my power base is working now. So, there's. So, basically, I didn't install my uh, jQuery correctly. So now I have a script that's actually that. So now it's working with that. Um, so this is it. And then my Firebase has my name, has that object. I passed it in. So if I want to put more inputs like um, age and stuff, I'll just pass it into this object every single time. So first you need the API key. Sorry for my debugging, it took so long, but I made it work. Um, so, do that, you put that in, in, in instantiate it, so it'll be firebase.database for our name, and then this is like the, basically, the event listener, so it, every time the value changes, so I'm an incognito window, so I'm gonna have two of these guys, so this one, This one. See, it's Jason. Both sides. So it's in a. I'm gonna go Peter. Let's do both sides. Fire. Bam! It's like magic. Or I could put like John. 
bam, double. So this persists elsewhere, you know, this script. So it's pretty cool. So all this magic. So the basics of it is first of all, grab the config stuff and put the CDNs on top and do the DOM elements. So you would grab the CDN from this pink thing and then just load, copy paste all that, the stuff into the script. Have like a DOM manipulator. It could be Angular. It could be um, jQuery. I chose jQuery. It's easier. Paste it in there. This is the Firebase CDN and paste a jQuery. And um, next, you create a variable to create a Firebase. It's constructed from the Firebase constructor, so it's called database. So every time you do like anything with uh, Firebase, be database dot, and you have like methods. So I'm using this one. So basically, I'm grabbing the input from here, from that jQuery. I'm using value and trim. Trim gets rid of white space. And next, we're gonna go database dot reference. Reference is a root, and we're gonna set, which means that um set the database into this object so name and name so this is like the property this is the variable name so every time we're gonna grab name from the input we're gonna shoot it here we can name this anything we can name this like blah and it'll work too so we can try that and yeah so let's uh play with the script Open your browser. Um, let's go yo, and it's going to be la. So this is a property, and we could just change that to la, and it doesn't work. So like yeah. Cause like if you don't do this one, cause that does that, and then you use event listener to make it work. So make it JSON again. Cool, JSON. So this just passes that in to the database. Well, I hope you learned something. Sorry for not explaining well. Kind of tired, and sorry for me not debugging. I just finished some dental work and uh, keep on hacking and Firebase is bay, you know, fire bay. Alright guys, thanks for watching. So till next time guys, keep on hacking and uh, I hope you learned something from this tutorial. So yeah, peace.